The CSI bridge, it's a completely integrated bridge design system in which you create a model, you analyze it, you design it, you do move and load analyses, you do the influence lines, or you can do complex bridges like this. This is the new Bay Bridge that is being built. It's right. very, very easy to use. What it is, it, it works on the extrusion basis. Like for instance, what you do, you create a layout line. All right? A layout line could be just coming here, it curves around, goes around, comes here. It's just one line. And then along that line, you define a section. All right? And what the program does, it takes that section and it then extrudes it along the layout line, and now you have your bridge. Can we solve the section uh, of options for a second? So you, like, you can have all these different kinds of cross sections. And if there's some that's not in there that you would like to see, you can tell us, and we'll put it in for you. But they're all parametric. You never have to define any coordinates. It's all based upon how many cells you have, the depth, the dimensions, they're all there. You have the abutments, and all of the language that you have in the bridge product is all bridge language. So that the users that you will actually sell this to, they're very, very familiar. And once you actually create the model like that, you can actually have just a spine model, or in other words, a frame model for that cross-section. Or if you wish, with just one mouse click, you can have it create a full three-dimensional shell element model or a solid model. Because you can see that, of course, that when you have complex structures, when you have complex structures that are curving around because you can have a, a, a bridge that actually goes like this and then you know how it ramps, there's all sorts of torsional effects coming into that. And if you just have a simple spine model accurately capturing that torsional effect, especially when you have ramping, super elevation and stuff like that, can become practically impossible. But the beauty about it is that you just Click it with one mouse and your spine model instantaneously, instantaneously converts into a shell model, completely three-dimensional. And then all of the banks that are underneath there and the supports, they're all automatically connected for the three-dimensional model. And if you have bearings, like you have here, here's your deck and here's your bearings, all of the links associated with those bearings which can be non-linear isolators. All of the technical complexity needed to model that in a static or a dynamic analysis environment is all automatically done. And then, of course, they could be, as I mentioned, they could be steel bridges, they could be concrete bridges, they could be box girder bridges. All of that capability is all in one user interface. And you have consultants out there that have a different program for your steel, a different program for your concrete, different program for your foundations, different program for all of these different aspects, different program for seismic analysis. In this product, what you have is that if you have to do an earthquake analysis, according to the ASHTO, it's got a seven-step process, which is all automated. All you have to do is to is to say you want a seismic analysis, say where the bridge is located, it automatically pulls out the response vector analysis, it does a pushover analysis in both directions for you automatically, a complete performance-based design, and then creates a beautiful seismic report for you. One pushover button. And then stage construction. You know, you've got all of these bridges that, you know, have to be brought into position 
And you know, deformations in bridges are much higher than they are in buildings, especially during the construction phase. So you have to find out at what position the structure should actually be positioned in its un unloaded state so that when the thing does get loaded, it ends up horizontal or with the camber that you want. And there's all sorts of beautiful optimization procedures so that if you have a, if you have a beautiful cable state girder bridge, what should be the tension in the cables so that the bending moment diagram across the deck, all across the length of the, of the bridge, ends up rather constant. How do I pre-stress those cables? You have automated optimization algorithms built into the product, and in that optimization, you can optimize specified joint displacement, joint reactions, any of these different parameters you can specify as to what you want them to be. And the program will then go and optimize the rest of the stuff to give you that result. Then, of course, in the construction sequence, you have all of the creep and shrinkage effects, all automated. And as I mentioned earlier, this whole concept of bridge rating, where you take a very heavy, say, an army structure that one of those military tanks needs to go across a bridge. And they need to find out how to run it, which lanes is that supposed to run in, in order that the bridge does not get overstressed. So you have the model of the bridge, and this is done on a daily basis. All these big trucks loaded with, with heavy things that go across bridges all across the country, they have to be permitted in order to do that. And the process of the permitting requires a complete analysis of the bridge, a location of the bridge, uh, a location of the load on the bridge along which is, it is supposed to run so that the bridge does not get overstressed. That's all in the product, completely integrated. And then it's all dynamic analysis. And see, that's the beauty about it. When you have a unified development system and you want one specific aspect to be activated, you just have to create the option in the user interface. One of the things that we have is this concept of, of, of dynamic loads, where when a, 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 a heavy truck runs across a bridge, it's not just the deflection due to the static effects, but also when it deflects, there's dynamic effects coming in. One of the things we're planning to do in the future, which we don't have right now, is that when you have railroads, heavy railroads running on very light bridges, the weight of the, of the moving vehicle itself has an effect on the dynamics of the structure because its weight is a much more larger percentage of the mass of the overall system. So you have a moving mass running along. So the structure essentially is changing as the train is rolling along because the mass is moving. So that's another effect that we plan to do in there. And then, of course, you do a whole finite element analysis. <coughs> You've got a full-blown bridge made up of beautiful shell elements. It's taken into effect all the torsional effects, you know, all of the shear effects. They're all in the analysis. Well, now you have to, of course, do the design of the cross-section. And the design of the cross-section is done on an overall combined integrated moment across the section. So that's all automated based upon the maximum and minimum moments that you get completely integrated across the section from all of the uh, stresses. You get a beautiful diagram like this and in the design process you have a capacity diagram and you have a demand diagram and one is put over the other and you can see exactly how good or bad you are in the design. All of those tools are all in there. One of the other things that we're also doing, which is also going to be available in the next release of, of CSI Bridge, is templates of various bridges. And not just, uh, not just simple templates, but templates whereby you can have a full-blown cable state girder bridge 
completely defined with cramminess because the beauty bridge structures in general are not that complicated. They may be complicated in plan if they're kind of curving back and forth, but the geometry of them is, is much, much simpler than, than you have in a lot of the building structures. Building structures are very, very complicated to analyze, to design. And the fees associated with the analysis and design of building structures is a small percentage of what you get in the analysis and design of a bridge structure, and the complexity is at times not even a hundredth 